In northeastern Montana, officials say they've seen a significant decrease in fire activity at the Wawa fire from Friday. As of this morning, the fire had burned 2,100 acres in a remote area around 40 miles southeast of Zortman. Improving weather conditions enabled crews to conduct a burnout today, and they hope this will minimize or prevent damage to crucial sage grouse habitat. Around 70 people were assigned to the Wawa fire as of this morning. And it is now time to check in with Curtis Grevenitz for our first weather. And we enjoyed a beautiful weekend for Symphony Under the Stars. And now we're moving into fair week. So what do we have in store for that? Well, we've got actually kind of more nice summer weather, but Good. along the lines of summer comes wildfires. And we've got a few more of them too now. The Wawa fire and the Reynolds Lake fire have gone up over a thousand acres. So mm. uh, some pretty big fires out there, but it's not as bad as last year. Let's take a look at uh, the current wildfires. There's that Wawa wildfire that developed on Friday. That was uh, north of the Missouri River and north of where we had that lodgepole complex develop last year. A uh, new fire in the last couple of days, the Bacon Rind Fire. That's uh, just to the northwest of West Yellowstone. There's the Round Lake, there's the Highway 37 fire right by Libby, and then the Zulu fire, which is still at about 20 acres. So take a closer look at uh, this coming up in a little more detail 